meet fanaticism. August 15th, inspired by the Spirit. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables, when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 16. Again and again in past years I have been bidden to speak in protest against the fanciful and forbidden schemes that have been presented by one and another. My message has ever been, preach the word in simplicity and all humility, present clear, unadulterated truth to the people. Open no door to fanatical movements, for the influence of these is to bring confusion of mind and discouragement and lack of faith to God's people. Whenever I have been called to meet fanaticism in its varied forms, I have received clear, positive, and definite instruction to lift my voice against its influence. With some the evil has revealed itself in the form of man-made tests for ascertaining a knowledge of the will of God, and I was shown that this was a delusion which became an infatuation, and that it is contrary to the will of the Lord. If we follow such methods, we shall be found aiding the enemy's plans. In times past certain among the believers had great faith in the setting of signs by which to decide their duty. Some had such confidence in these signs that men went so far as to exchange wives, thus bringing adultery into the church. I have been shown that deceptions like those we were called to meet in the early experiences of the message would be repeated, and that we shall have to meet them again in the closing days of the work. At this time we are required to bring all our powers under the control of God, exercising our faculties in accordance with the light He has given. Read the 4th and 5th chapters of Matthew. Study Matthew chapter 4 verses 8 to 10, also chapter 5 13. Meditate upon the sacred work that was carried forward by Christ. It is thus that the principles of the Word of God are to be brought into our labors. Selected Messages 228 29.